Hi guys, welcome. Now I try to be quiet and keep it low. Well, keep the booth of mic, not your voice. <laughs> It's fun to hold it like this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the fifth round of a wedding Q&A that you guys have never seen, but we've filmed it many times and for whatever reason, I've just never uploaded it. What if we refilm this? <laughs> she gets I have to get my dress altered still. Yeah, you know. We're gonna film that Q&A and it got dark outside because it's early. I have a stack of content that I've yet to upload and then I get overwhelmed so I decide to refilm it. The circle of life in my world. This is our last wedding Q&A. I also have a mic, okay, but I'm, I was talking too close to it earlier so I'm trying to keep it distant. I didn't even end up using the mic's audio for this video so excuse the absurd thing in my hands. How does that make you feel was my question. <laughs> What make me feel that this is the fifth time filming or <laughs> that's the last time? This is the last time. We have one week until our wedding. Yeah, happy's all get up. Whoa. Do you think my sayings aren't even married yet? Relax. <laughs> Start off with some simple ones from. He's like, yeah, shut up. I'll start the questions. <laughs> okay, what month is the wedding? January. How many people are coming? So around 60. Color Keep scheme. it that. Keep it that simple. Okay, well, this is a speed round. We don't have one. I didn't want one. I don't like one. We went with a theme and it's called light and airy. We mostly went with whites to keep it light and airy, but we have some like black detailing, like napkins and like napkins. Yeah, that would be good. That would make it pop a little more. Right. Um, do the kids have- Pause. I love the sage green, but I felt like in 10 years, I might not like sage green. Okay, you guys, we have a good sponsor today. I'm excited. It includes a giveaway, a good one. I look a little crazy today, wow. I mean, what's new, let's be for real, especially this time of year. Wedding thing, Christmas. Anyways. Okay, worked with this brand, I think like over a year ago, and I have gotten so many questions since about links, what I like, what I use. Well, I got something new. Okay, first of all, wait, let's rewind. Parents, family, stop watching. I can't even open it. Okay, this is new. This is new. I've had this one and another one that's still in my stash and absolutely love it. It sucks. It vibrates. This is the pebble. You need the pebble. Great for beginners, okay? Waterproof. Also, the brand is woman-owned, so yes, please. But this one, uh, it's like kind of intimidating. I do feel like though, you know, after like a couple years of experimenting now, I'm ready for like the more intense ones. And some of you are gonna laugh because this is still not intense, but it's like a thruster. Again, waterproof and then it can insert up to five inches. This feels inappropriate. Anyways. Okay, I need to turn this off. The case charges the thing. That's the same thing for this as well as many, I can't even talk, I'm so excited, as well as many others. But if you haven't heard of Blessa, they are a toy star. And they're all about sexual wellness, which you guys know, I tell you every day. I'm very keen on this subject. I want everybody to feel comfortable and confident and like them best, like them, like them best selves. Like your best self, okay? Golly. I'm glitching again. <laughs> but yeah, you can charge the case. I think this is to me what makes the brand so unique is just the discreet packaging if you're gonna like travel or just in general, like obviously I have children in my house so it's nice to not have them just look like what they are. I mean, they're locked and put away anyways, but still I love that. And then for traveling, obviously the fact that you don't need to bring the charger, like if it's for short-term travel, you can just like rely on the case. But the best part about all of this besides the products and that they're woman owned and that they're see all of it's good. They are partnering with me on a giveaway again so if you guys click the link down below then you will get either a free toy or a gift card to their website so like you get something no matter what they have stuff for everybody which is really nice because i feel like some of these sites and stuff yikes it goes straight from zero to ten thousand i do want to mention they don't just have um toys they also do have like videos a bunch of other things you guys go explore for yourselves again link down below but i just wanted to mention that Thank you so much to Alessa for sponsoring today's video. Do the kids have a role? Yes, we tried to incorporate them as much as we could because yes, we're joining lives, but our lives are a little bit different than most lives when they mix to get married. So it's not just our lives joining, the kids are joining. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I keep stopping because I'm like, am I, is this making sense? So anyways, we tried to make it really special for them. The girls are gonna be getting ready with me. Levi's gonna be getting ready with him. We're doing a first dance with the kids. Flower girl. Ring bear. Ring bear. Any way that we could include them, we definitely have tried. 100%. Do you think you will feel changed personally once your wedding is over and you're officially together? Officially official? I don't think so. Actually, I know so. I'm not gonna lie. I, I know. I don't really think that marriage does that. I think marriage is magical and it's fun and it's celebrating your love and doing it with your loved ones, but it really doesn't change anything besides your taxes and what you call each other. 
Taxes, baby. Taxes, baby. And your taxes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be excited and stuff, yes, of course. Yes, you will. You'll wake up the <laughs> next day like, hi, husband. <laughs> it's weird. When I think of that, it's like so weird. And, and we've already incorporated our lives together. Right. Once like, we bought yeah. our house together, kind of. Cars together. Naturally living, incorporated. Yeah. Where is the honeymoon going to be, Kira? I don't know yet, guys. Um, we'll probably book it the day before because that's that's the way that him and I rumble and tumble. I thought you were eloping. You don't invite people and have a whole party when you elope. I, I'm sorry, Becky. I'm sorry. Yeah. I messed up, Becky. I shouldn't have said that. I, it was all wrong. And I, I do feel like our private ceremony, if like we were just having a private ceremony and just with like the 10 people that are going to be there, then that, I feel like, would be considered eloping. I think we... No, 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 I think. No, no, thank you. I know. <laughs> when I made the video, we are eloping, which I will link down below. I was explaining what we were doing as far as our marriage. We still didn't know really what we wanted to do as a reception, for a reception, and all of that. At the time that I made that video, I know that we wanted to exchange vows and get married in front of witnesses, so a very small amount of people, and the children, which is considered eloping. If you look up eloping, a lot of people think it's just running away and secretly getting married. That can mean eloping, but there's other meanings as well. But we're calling it a private ceremony now so that people don't get so upset. We're having a private ceremony, and then an hour afterwards, we are having our reception. And then the other thing I wanted to say is a lot of people were correcting me, and don't get me wrong, girl, I mess up. I spell like shit. I don't talk very advanced. But you do wear a wedding dress to get eloped. I think a lot of people think it's rushed. Um, a lot of times people get engaged and year after they get married so this isn't rushed where we live people get married in months and I'm talking months after they meet not just months after they get engaged so where we live this is beyond normal if not we're kind of weird for waiting we obviously aren't waiting the whole year we were originally going to we're gonna get married in June which was an entire year after we were engaged but he does taxes for work and so we would be not really able to plan from January well the end of January until June when we get married so there would be no plan taking place during that time anyways and so it just made sense for us to get married in January and go on our honeymoon and then he can do his taxes <laughs> yeah. I think another one was the budget and the planning for the actual wedding to be totally transparent too I mean this is no secret but we both have been engaged before and for long periods of time so to us when we got engaged we've done the whole engagement timeline before if you're proposing that's because you want to get married not because you want to wait to get married or why would you get engaged we already got a list of big things that we want to do yeah in the next year we haven't even gotten married yet but again i want to emphasize it really is normal i think that people have just who have followed me for a long time have seen that like before in my past i was engaged for a very long time and that was that relationship and that is how some people's relationship is and are but that's not how we want to do things yeah correct how do you know he's the one are you nervous to kiss in front of the whole fam how do i know he's the one um i think when somebody understands you emotionally and you feel that you understand each other and there's a common respect desire to be around each other do things together learn things together go through things together when you want everything together in more than just like a husband and wife way i feel like that's when you know and like again a big thing for both of us i think is really just the reading of minds is incredible you yeah, know yeah. am i nervous to kiss in front of everybody i'm nervous for all of it like i'm nervous for our grand entrance the most i think because that's like awkward i know alea has been so excited for the wedding did she get her dress yet she did and she loves it oh beautiful but i like how like um the train you like the train her dress yes. for our wedding has like a train behind it that comes off so she doesn't want to wear it but she's really excited about that part huh mm -hmm. yes your greatest fear after marriage falling into habits and routines it's very easy to do that when you're together for a long time i have been guilty of it myself i think so have you it's very normal you want to always put effort to avoiding that yeah. does fiance have some do's and don'ts advice planning from a previous a wedding question. i do and i think i've applied it here and i actually enjoyed wedding planning first one I, we kind of mentioned it earlier I feel like so bad every time we say it like that but it's also part of wedding planning and being transparent is saying what you have learned and like well it's not a diss on, on anyone else it, right but i just don't want anybody to take it like that like it's right. strictly just like a it's what the we wedding learned. planning yeah. right like the first one is 
set the budget for the venue, set a loose budget for everything outside the like venue. A range. Don't get caught up in a strict budget because if you get caught up in a strict budget, you will hate it 1000%. It's not a loose budget like a just crazy Free difference. For all. It's not a crazy difference in price. Give them the mic. What is your wedding advice? One simple thing patience. Patience. We love that. That's his advice in life. It's and honesty. Man. And honesty. Gosh, the amount of times that I've heard <laughs> that since I was a child. Be honest. Respect. No, no, they said one thing. Not, we don't want to lecture. <laughs> we just wanted advice. <laughs> love. <laughs> what what part of the wedding are you most excited for? I think seeing the kids like experience it and have fun and like just, this is the most extravagant thing they've ever been to. And then also obviously just us like being husband and wife, which I I don't I will get used to that probably someday, but it sounds so weird. Yeah, same thing. That I feel nervous with you standing here and you answering these. Patience. <laughs> Do more, okay. Like, thank God, I'm getting hungry. I need my whiskey. I got a good one. What's your question? Are you gonna change your last name? Yes. <laughs> my dad is has an opinion about this, but I'm gonna hyphenate either the middle or the last. All right, Severton will still be there on paper. All well, that matters to me. <laughs> but I will not. Like, when people are like, "What is your what's your full name?" I'm not gonna like Kira Renee Severton Smith. I'm gonna say Kira Renee Smith. Take the Renee off. And <laughs> Kira <Severton> Smith. <laughs> This is something we have a conversation about. Every, Every time. time I see my dad. Very proud Severton. As am I. When you become a woman, you just have to like give it all the way to the man, I guess. No, you don't. You don't have to change it. <laughs> <laughs> You're wrong about that. I know. Statement. I actually do like the idea of keeping my last name in there somewhere just because we had this conversation I do think that like a Severton is a part of who I am and although we're getting married and I want to take on who you are that doesn't mean I have to forget who I am which is so literal for a last name but like if you're my dad it is that literal is there anything that you aren't doing that you wish you were doing I think the only thing that I can think of which isn't something I would change even if I could go back and redo it. It's just what it is. I do wish January was like a hot season where we live so we could get married in Utah. Well guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this q and I can't believe it's our last one. Perfect timing because they are now singing so beautifully right behind my ear. Um, but we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Peace out.